They set up a cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock, him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. Well done, Corvo. Well done. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The Royal Physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the Elixir, the War Machine. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. Corvo! Wake up! You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Alyssa will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. I hope Sokolov will cooperate. I'd hope to have him paint my portrait. Royal Physician, I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah! You're part of this rabble. But I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Sorry, Sokolov. No, not right. Stop! Stop! I will tell you what you need to know! I'm obliged to safeguard Dunwall's greatest intellectual asset. I can only tell you so much. I was not permitted to see her face or hear her full name. She called herself Lady Boyle. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle estate. Tonight, the timing is perfect, Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course. You already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? Yes, you will be able to mingle with them once you're on the grounds. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent, and take her out whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. Corvo, if you do this tonight, we'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. I knew Sokolov would see reason and tell us what we need to know. He never actually liked the Lord Lee. Royal costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun. 
but not for everybody. You ready? stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours will let you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with the folk of quality. Better you than me. Unauthorized intruders will be expelled or apprehended on site. Chase after that. You don't know what's in those buildings. No place is safe anymore. I don't understand what's happened to this city. Possibly tiresome. If you're not going to have fun, invitation, please. Maybe you should go home. We'll struggle on once we locate the wine. Peril takes pride in being difficult. As much as you take in being easy. Shall we go in? And right this way, sir. Out by the curb. Well, I'm going to catch plague and die waiting out here. I'm sure she'd like that. Why don't you wait here as any gentleman would? And we'll go inside and make nasty remarks about Emma Style. Lack of it. Well, we know I'm no gentleman, so you might as well make her here. You have to feel sorry for her. She's only here to ask for a handout. She must be desperate. When have the Boyles ever given anything away? Maybe she hopes she'll win the game. Oh, life is so boring. I don't I'll drink to that. Which part? Any of it. I damn, I want some wine. Look at that. Another mask. party game. Sick <laughs> it was fun for a season. Welcome to the Boyle Estate. Think you'll get your own squad after what happened last night? Yes. Indeed. I believe so. Pendleton? Hmm. What's he got to say to me? Pendleton is a gutless lying sack of shit. I hope he's paying you well for this. Damn cold tonight. Hurry up, and let's see what you're made of. Lord Pendleton's representative will select his weapon. A contest of honor will take place between this anonymous gentleman acting for the challenger, Lord Trevor Pendleton, and Lord Shaw, the challenged party. 
You will each turn and proceed to the marked positions and remain facing away from each other as I count down from three. You may then turn and fire Get at Get along with it. I'll kill this fool and we can all go back inside. Sorry, my lord. We shall proceed. Stop! Stand right there. Three. Fin Challenger. Your mark. Stop! Stand right there. Three. Two. Return to your correct place or forfeit. What are you playing at? Look away from Lord Shaw. Three. Two. And that's another patron dead. What do we do now? It's lucky we're in demand. I hear the other <laughs> top coin. <clears throat> See if we can find a little plan. Hope you have a wonderful time tonight. Careful. We tried for a peek upstairs, and the man on duty is an ass. I should have taught him some manners. This party is a sham. I'm sure he's just doing his job. A party like this, anyone might have crept in. Excuse me, my cousin is a marquis. Of course I don't mean you. But people are desperate, and the Boyles are awfully wealthy these days. Did Nonsense. you hear about Mrs. Waverly Grimsby? Just hires You'll never believe this. What is it Your now? obsession with the Boyle women. Will it never end? No weapons at the party. Put it away, sir. Teaching sir, I know these are dangerous cards. times. You but should please, see this as an opportunity. To what? Hold on. I need a cigar. If you want to be beaten, go right... Wait a minute. Is that weapon part of One the costume? One in red, Who are you? one in white, one in black. I'm stumped. My wife thinks we should sneak upstairs to look for clues. But I don't like the Ooh, of those guards. Scary mask. Uh. Welcome to my party. I don't believe you've had the pleasure. She expect you a gentleman I'll have you know I'm a you're a scandal in that mask I like a man with poor judgment would you get me a drink I'd be so grateful what a deliciously sinful mask what most people don't remember is the rats came a half a year before excuse me no guests past this point. I say nothing against the Lord Regent. Excuse me a moment. Come and entertain me. Welcome to the Boyle Estate. Thank you so much. Now, how can I thank you? 
Are you playing Lady Boyle's guessing game? Well, I know for a fact that Waverly's in white tonight. Perhaps she's pretending to be a virgin. Additionally, Lydia's in black. Could the city get any worse? Yes, of course. You seem interesting. I love that mark on the back of your hand. Ugh, you smell like the streets. Been slumming it, have you? <laughs> Enjoy, my darlings. I thought her interests were confined to her family. I think she ran out of family a while ago. What's it all about? And how do you know this? My servants heard it from hers, naturally. They were sexual rights, I can only assume. Or else, I heard she bathed in her own nephew's blood. Get away. Ridiculous. What sort of hygiene is that? It's a ritual for the outside. Doing all right there. To keep them safe. Emma, you could get her sent to the Abbey. Nobody that rich gets sent anywhere they don't want. The Brimsleys made an awful lot of money this past century. Makes you wonder if those rituals work. What happened to the boy? I hear he enjoyed himself very much. For a while. 